Hello and welcome to a bonus track. They're all bonus tracks, but uh, right now this is what I'm feeling. Um, stretching arms. I'm gonna point my right elbow up to the sky and bring my right hand down my back using my left hand to just create gentle traction there. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm gonna release that, switch. Bring your right hand on top of left elbow. Inhaling and exhaling. And then I'm gonna bring right arm across my body, um, hugging right shoulder with left hand. Keeping all uh, five of those right fingers alive, engaged, vibrant. Inhaling and exhaling. And then I'm gonna switch, bringing left arm across my body, keeping left hand, feeling active as I hug my left shoulder in with my right hand. Inhaling and exhaling. And now I'm gonna extend my left leg long, um, bring my right foot to the outside of my left thigh. Right knee is pointing up to the sky and then I'm gonna Plant my right hand behind me on the ground. I can hug in right knee with left hand or maybe even experiment with bringing left elbow to the outside of right knee. I'm gonna gaze over my right shoulder and then I'm gonna gaze over my left shoulder looking at right toes. Hello. Just gonna breathe here. Sending fresh energy to all my fingers, all my toes. And then I'm going to unwind, wiggle out my legs. And this time, I'm going to extend my right leg long, bring left foot to the outside of right thigh. I'm going to bring left hand behind me. I can tent my fingertips or place my palm on the ground, whatever feels better. I can hug my left uh, knee in or bring right elbow to the outside of left knee. I'm going to gaze over my left shoulder and then I'm going to gaze over my right shoulder. Check out the view. Hello, left toes. How are you today? I'm going to breathe here. I can experiment with closing my eyes or opening them. Being grateful for whatever, whatever I'm observing, within or without. And then from here, I'm gonna come all the way through onto my belly and gonna get ready for liftoff in a super person pose. But before we do that, I'm just gonna take a moment of stillness in Sphinx, tops of both feet resting on the earth, both palms in front of me, resting on my forearms, my belly. Inhaling here and exhaling. Feeling the sensation of that second bowl of homemade ice cream that seemed like a good idea at the time. Stand by my decision. <laughs> now I'm gonna um, stretch both feet out behind me, both arms out in front of me. Rest my head down, neck long, forehead massaging into the earth. And then as I inhale, I'm going to lift up, lifting up with my arms, lifting up with my legs, maybe rocking a little front to back. Then maybe grabbing um, both feet with both hands, lifting up further into bow pose here. I'm grabbing the inside of my feet, but you're welcome to grab inside or outside. Inhaling, rocking on my belly a little bit. And then releasing, coming to rest. Making a pillow out of my hands, resting my head to one side. And from here, I'm going to um, reach my right arm out in front of me slightly to the right and come to roll so that my left leg is um, my left big toe is touching the earth behind me. 
just leaning on that right side. And return to center. I'm going to do the same thing on the left. Uh, reaching right toes out behind me. So I'm resting on my, my left palm and both feet. And right palm can be on the earth in front of my heart. And then from here, I'm going to come on to my back. And I'm going to um, plant my palms under my shoulders so that my fingers are pointing towards my toes. And inhale up to the, on top of my head. And then press up so that maybe I have some space between my head and the earth. Great pose for anyone that has ever felt like they've bent over backwards. Now you can literally do it. Inhale here and then exhale, safely lowering down back the way you came on top of your head, curling your spine, and then let's hug both knees in to our chest and give ourselves a back massage, starting at our low back. And then working our way slowly up, rocking side to side, working up our spine. We can make circles with our knees, holding on firm with our hands, one direction and the other. And finally getting our shoulders. And we can let our legs go along and just Use our hands to create more space in the back of our neck, lifting, gently lifting our head away from our shoulders. Roll our shoulders down the back and press them into the earth. And just coming into an easy, effortless Shavasana where legs fall out to the side, feet flop open, palms up, arms a comfortable distance away from our body begin to melt into the earth, seeing what else we can relax. And maybe scrunching everything up, all your feet, your hands, all your muscles in your body and your legs and your arms and your belly and your back and your face, and then let it go. Anything you notice that's a little tense, you can just observe it and then experiment. See how it feels to let it go. Relaxing your face, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders your arms, your hands, letting everything just hang heavy. Relax your back, your belly, your thighs, your knees, your ankles, your feet. And let the sound and the feeling of your breath wash over you. See what it feels like it just for now. When you have nowhere to be and nothing to do. Just 
just for a moment. And take a deep breath in and let it out. Begin to make little movements with your fingers, your toes, your hands, your feet, your wrists, your ankles. Stretching out like you're waking up in the morning. And gently fall to one side. I'm going to rest on my forearm while the hand of the other arm supports me in front of my heart. And I'm going to slowly, leisurely make my way up to a comfortable seat. Breathing here, I'm just going to dedicate this moment, this practice, to the very sincere wish that may all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, and free. Namaste.